Hi there, I'm Greg Smith, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get your perfect impact. Okay, so we're going to look at how to get impact the right way. So in order to get the, the ideal impact position and to get the club coming on the right line, we initially have to make sure that we're getting the arms setting the club down on the right line. And I've actually recorded a video previous to this one showing you that first move and how the arms line the club up to come into the downswing. And when we've actually made that move correctly, so we've achieved this nice shallowing and this inside motion coming into the uh, with the arms coming into the downswing we can then clear the hips as much as we want but we can't clear the hips if we don't get that motion with the arms because whenever we move the hips the arms will follow so we have to have an opening up of the shoulder in order to give us free reign to clear the hips to come back into the ball but once we've done that we can really create quite a lot of power and quite a lot of torque coming into the swing so when we're looking at the impact position from a static position uh, we're, we're looking at a couple of things first of all we want to see the upper body relatively square to the target line it can be fractionally open um, but if we certainly want to get the club coming from the inside, we need to be relatively square with the upper body. From there, I'm going to freeze my upper body now, and I'm going to push my hips forwards, and then I'm going to pull my left hip back into the left heel, and we can see how this right leg kicks in. So my upper body is now square, but my hips have cleared. Now most people want to get clearance in the downswing. They think of creating hip turn like this, so we've got a a nice kind of forwards motion and rotating. In order to get that position that we're after, we need to pull the left hip back. So it's not going to feel like turn, it's going to feel like you're pulling this left hip. It goes a little forwards, but it's going into that left heel, and that creates the clearance whilst we keep the upper body square. Now we shouldn't have to think of keeping the upper body square if we get this loop in motion with the arms to begin with. So once that motion's been achieved, we simply pull the left hip back into the left heel. That gives us a nice clearance of the hips and the square shoulders coming through the ball. So if you practice that move, if you can make sure you're getting that club working inside and then you pull the left hip back into the left heel, you can generate a phenomenal amount of speed, but you can also get the club online. You're going to hit the ball much, much better. See you next time.